Hello stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from a beautiful Menasha, Wisconsin. Today I'm going to be featuring the Sending Hugs Bundle. Oh my goodness, this is one of my new must-haves out of the annual catalog. And I love sending cards to people who might need a little hug because a card is just a hug with a fold in the middle, right? I love that. All right, I have two cards to share with you. We're going to be using the stamp set on both of them, but the stamp set on one is a main focus and the dies on the other is a main focus. I just wanna show you a couple great ways to use this little bundle and decide if it's gonna be one of your must-haves too. Let's get this camera flipped around and get started. This is quickly becoming one of my must-haves. I love the line art that's on here. It's a little bit whimsical. We have all these cute little sentiments and then of course that big hugs. Now the thing that's really nice about the die set, and this is called the layering hugs dies, is you can die cut this entire image. Okay, well it doesn't, you don't stamp it and die cut it. This die cut separately and I'll show you that in a second. But you can die cut this entire image you can layer it over top of here. You can use it as a standalone, but you've also got these hugs that are all on one plate. And I think that's really important because you don't have to deal with four different letters. I like that a lot. And these fit over top of either the die or the letters here. I'm pretty sure they fit over the letters. We're gonna find out. Yes, they do. I'm like, I did that. Then we have a couple little labels, some leaf sprigs, some flowers, just a really, really cute. There's eight dies in here, cute, cute set. All right, so this is part of a blog hop with the Creative Inking Design Team and everybody is showing you their must-haves today. So when we get to the end, you're gonna wanna click on a link that's gonna be up here in the corner. It'll pop up for you so you can follow along on that blog hop. First things first, we have a piece of Mango Melody cardstock that's four and a quarter by 11. I've already scored that at five and a half. And we're just gonna fold that and burnish that edge good. And then I've got a piece of basic white for the inside and then a little three quarter inch strip. Now, where is this pretty paper coming from? Oh, let me show you. This is part of the part Pattern Party Designer Series paper. This is a huge pack, 48 sheets of 12 by 12 Designer Series paper, and you get four of each pattern. So you'll get four pages with this pattern on it as well as the rest of these. The cool thing about this paper is that it's only $18 for 48 sheets. It has a $30 value. The back of each one of these pattern papers is a black and white pattern. And who doesn't love black and white paper? So I'm gonna be showing you my card with this side today, but of course the black and white is one of my favorites. Now, you can only get this if you host a party and your party goes over $150. You're gonna use your stamping rewards to buy this $18 pack of paper. Or you can put in a $150 order and get this pack of paper with your rewards for $18. We don't judge. Order, have a party, doesn't make any difference. You get the paper. All right, we're going to keep going here. I've got a three quarter inch strip of the designer series paper. And I just wanted to add this to the inside of my card. And this would be kind of a cute little card to send out for any occasion. And I have to tell you guys what I did today because I I just I can't wait for my mom to get her mail. I just put in the mail a gift card to this little ice cream shop that we went to when I was over visiting her. She lives a couple hours away. The ice cream shop has the most amazing ice cream. And so um, that was a couple visits ago. So last time I was there, I went to the, I, I stopped in town and went to this ice cream shop and I bought my mom a couple gift certificates because she just couldn't stop raving about the ice cream. So I got her a couple ice cream gift certificates and I just dropped one in the mail to her. And of course I'm thinking this would be a perfect card using this beautiful little bundle to send an all occasion card like that. And all I did was I said a little something to help keep you cool, love you Kelly. 
and I know my mom is just going to love it. Okay, I am missing, hang on, I'm missing a piece of cardstock. I need a piece of crumb cake. This is four by five and a quarter, and we're going to do some stamping on there. I'm going to bring out this big hugs stamp, and this is really quite large. We're going to ink this up with some crumb cake ink. And let me get out. my piercing mat and I'm gonna stand up here and get the center good. Now this is a big stamp, so you wanna give it good pressure. You may even wanna put this in your Stamparatus to use. I think that would make it pretty sweet too. So this is, this is the image. It's crumb cake ink on crumb cake cardstock. And then what I thought I'd do with it is I would take my Mango Melody Stampin' Blend marker and just color in the little berries on here. Now you could of course make them any color you want, but I want them to color coordinate with my designer series paper. Now you guys are gonna be seeing this video on the 20th of May. And I am actually going to be in Hawaii on the Stampin' Up! incentive trip. I know, so I'm getting this done ahead of time for you guys. All right, I think that looks great. And the next thing I wanted to do was take the hugs letters and die cut them out of this beautiful designer series paper. So I'm going to do that. Then I've got a scrap of mango melody. Oh, and I need to bring in my black ink pad here. And I'm going to take out the little um, stamp that says from all of us. Oops, you gotta be really careful with these teeny weeny stamps that you don't press too hard because then they'll get kind of goofy, right? And it's good to practice. You should practice here before you start doing anything with them. And that one looks really good. So I'm going to grab the die. There's two different label dies in here. One is bigger, longer, and the other one is shorter. I'm gonna grab that, I'm gonna die cut this. I'm gonna die cut my hugs letters on my designer paper and I will be right back. And here we go. We have everything ready to roll. All right, I've got my mini Stampin' Dimensionals and these of course fit on here just perfect. So I'm going to pop up my sentiment layer and then I'm going to bring my liquid glue in and glue my letters down. And let's see, I'm gonna, I was gonna say, do I wanna put my glue on my letters or on my cardstock? We'll see what happens. Look at how that fits in there just perfectly. I think I can put my glue right here on my cardstock. Let's try that. That might just make it a little easier. You know, it's always kind of fumbly to hold little things like this, right? Oops, I got glue on my finger. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so anyways, my mom's gonna get this ice cream gift certificate and I made it quite hefty because that place is like kind of expensive, right? Homemade ice cream is expensive. And I want my mom to feel like she can go there as many times as she wants. And lo and behold, I bought two. So she'll tell me when she runs out too, because she'll be proud of herself for using it all up. <laughs> and then I'll send her another one. And my mom doesn't really like the heat. She's not like me. I love heat and humidity, but my mom is not a real fan. So I thought ice cream is the perfect thing. Okay, so I've got a piece of the designer paper here. I forgot to measure this. This is two, or I'm sorry, one and three quarters by four. And I'm just gonna add this pretty paper down at the bottom. And so many of the patterns in this designer series paper pack would work for a card like this because they're just pretty. They're little prints, they're pretty. I love them. Okay, then I'm going to take the backings off of my sentiment layer, and I'm gonna just put this right up here in the pretty foliage, just like that. And I have some white baker's twine. Now this comes from the healing, uh, no, the snail mail. There's two sets of baker's twine in the snail mail. You get a blushing bride and, um, this basic white. 
I'm just gonna wrap this around here just as many times as you want to. I think I'm even gonna go four times this time because it's. I just want it to be kind of substantial. And we're gonna cut off some long tails so we can tie a nice little bow down here. And when you get a giant roll of, you know, baker's twine, you don't have to be chintzy with it, right? <laughs> I like to be chintzy with the baker's twine. There we go. Oh my gosh, so, so cute. Now, I've got some of these brand new genial gems here. And let's see, do I have, oh, I've got two packs here, actually. I've been using these like crazy. I love the soft color. And I just wanna add a little bit of bling. Oops, to my little hugs card my card with a hug in the middle <laughs> or a fold my my hug card with a fold in the middle that's that's what i meant to say jeez kelly get it together right just a little bit of bling on here then we're going to make sure we have this going the right way and put this right on the front of our card now this is a pretty spectacular little cute card right and you saw how very very simple it was to make I love this. And of course, you could stamp this on white and color it all in too. That's gonna be really pretty. Now, I've got one more card to show you. I always like to give you multiple ideas with all these goodies. So we're gonna bring in some Coastal Cabana for our card base. And then I've got a piece of Knight of Navy piece of white for the inside. Again, a three quarter inch strip for the inside layer. This layer is five by three and three quarters. Our navy layer is five and an eighth by three and seven eighths. And then we've got a scrap of Coastal Cabana. Okay, so let's get our stamping done on the scrap first. Now this time we're using Night of Navy ink instead of the Memento Black. And I just want to stamp this and kisses. Cute! And then we're gonna use the smaller of the two dies to die cut that. And then, let's see, if this fits, if this fits in the middle of the layer that you're gonna put on the front of your card, you could save yourself some time and cardstock. Just die cut it right out of the middle. We're gonna put this over the top and that's gonna work just fine. Now, I already happen to have this layer cut out um, and I'm gonna run over to my machine and cut out this little sentiment. So hang tight and here we go. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, did I, oh, hang on. I'm getting a little confused here. All right, so your hugs is gonna be cut out of the middle of this layer if you'd like to save on your cardstock. And then we're gonna put this on here. So we've just got that eighth inch margin around here. And Knight of Navy is one of the color, one of the coordinating colors in this cardstock, or the designer paper, I mean. So this piece is eight and a half by five and a half. Coastal Cabana, we're just gonna fold it in half. I'm gonna put some dimensionals on the back of my little sentiment layer, just like I did the last card. And there we go. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna add, oh, I know, I've got, there's some of the new pale papaya in here and this is what this is, the woven ribbon in pale papaya and white. So I'm going to take that and put that right over here on the side of this card. Grab a, oh, my tape is gone. Oh, I got new tape, hang on. Here we go. We're gonna grab a little tape and tape this right on the side over here. This is such pretty ribbon and it's really easy to work with too. Like it lays down really nice. Okay, and then I thought I'd tie a little piece right over here on the side, kind of a little faux bow, if you will. And then Careful so I don't poke myself. I've done that. These scissors are very sharp, which is what we want our scissors to be, right? We just don't like it when they attack us. <laughs> Oops, there went my glue. Okay, 
pretty, pretty bright, fun colors, right? Up here. Now, I'm gonna take my hugs and I am going to just add my glue to the back. Let me see if I can hold on to it. To the back of my letters. You wanna always use just a little bit of glue. Don't get too gloppy with it or you'll have a big mess. And I'm going to put this right in here. So this is gonna go right in the center. And notice how my leaves are up on my ribbon. I'm doing that on purpose because I really like the way that looks. And then these are all loose, okay? Now it'll probably get smashed in an envelope, but for right now it makes me happy <laughs> that they're sticking up. And then here comes our little tiny sentiments. We've got hugs and kisses. Inside, we gotta decorate that just a touch, right? Three quarter inch strip down here. I like to leave a little white on the, on the bottom margin. I just think that looks nice when you put it on a colored card base. Okay, I'm gonna have to get out a new bottle of glue. It's almost as exciting as opening up a new stays on ink pad, or not stays on, Versamark ink pad. They're all pretty and pristine till you get them all messed up, right? <gasps> Look at how cute that is. And again, just an all occasion card. Now, you guys know if you follow me that I love to decorate my envelopes. So I am going to add some glue around the outside edge and the middle of my flap. And then two and a half by six inches of this paper is the perfect size to put on your envelope flap. And you just open it up. You can see that pretty black and white on the other side. Gosh, black and white paper is so much fun for so many things. You can make it any color you need it to be with black. Like you can sponge it, you can use daubers on it, you can use the blending brushes on it, you can just rub ink right on it, make it any color. Okay, look at that. Isn't that cute? Yeah, we've got a couple cards, and cards are really just hugs with folds in the middle, right? And here's another one. I did an envelope for this one too. So I wanted to show you, there's a couple more ideas in here. Look at just the letters on a tag for a cute little gift. And then they colored in all of the foliage and flowers on here. And then here's another one, a little square card. So this is a really fun little bundle called Sending Hugs. And then I paired that with the pa Pattern Party Designer Series paper, again, you get 48 sheets in here, but you can only get it with your stamp and rewards. And that's when you um, order over $150 worth or have a party. And we don't judge. <laughs> All right, you guys, like I said before, this is part of a blog hop. You're going to click down here to subscribe to my YouTube channel before you go any place. And then I wanted to show you, this is my host code. If your order is under $150, please use this code. If it's over $150, don't use the code. You're going to get some rewards that you can get this paper with from Stampin' Up! And I want you to have those. But if your order is under $150, please use this code. Click right up here to head over to see the rest of the people's projects on the blog hop. You're going to find my blog in these projects. And then you're going to click on the names or the next button. I can't remember which one I'm going to put in there because I still have to set this all up. But... It's going to be a lot of fun to see what everybody else's favorites are out of the new annual catalog. And don't forget, if you would like a discount on your products, I would love to have you on my team. It is a fun, fun place to be. We have, an, we have a special right now where you get to choose $155 of anything you want. For $99 plus tax and then you get a 20% discount on your future orders. You get to be part of my wonderful stamping community and my team. Whether you want to just do it for the discount and be a happy shopper or build some type of a business out of it, it's completely up to you. I will never push you to do anything more than you're interested in doing. But I know you would love to be on my team because we have a blast. Okay, you guys have yourselves a wonderful Thursday. And I will be back from the trip on Tuesday 
So I'll be live again on, let me look at my handy dandy calendar here. I will be live again on the 30th of May. Wow, how did that go so fast? Have yourselves a wonderful rest of the week. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend with me. Bye-bye.